Welcome to Sundry Hikes, your daily source of trending topics. Today we will explore a rather thought-provoking topic, Tucker Carlson as a potential presidential nominee for the Republican Party. I'm Julia and this is my co-host Mark. This idea seems to be on many political pundits' minds lately, so we decided to delve deeper into it. Yes, we will discuss various aspects of it, including Carlson's political beliefs, his ability to govern, and the impact his nomination could have on the Republican Party and the nation as a whole. Sounds good. Let's get started. So, let's talk about Tucker Carlson's political and ideological positions. Carlson is best known for his conservative views and has often expressed controversial opinions on his show. He positions himself as a populist, but with a conservative edge. His views on immigration, for example, are hardline, and often includes criticisms of multiculturalism and diversity. Carlson has a history of making inflammatory remarks on his show, which has landed him in hot water on multiple occasions. For instance, he received massive backlash for promoting a conspiracy theory that COVID-19 vaccines are causing deaths. This highlighted his willingness to embrace misinformation and controversial views, which some say only serves to deepen polarization and division. Despite this, Carlson has a significant influence on the Republican Party. His show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, was one of the most watched shows on the Fox News channel, and he has a massive following on social media. Many Republicans also see him as a potential presidential candidate, which could mean that his views become more mainstream. That being said, I think it's important to note that his views are not universally accepted within the Republican Party. Some prominent Republicans have criticized his controversial statements and believe that he is more of a political commentator than an actual politician. Definitely. Overall, we can see that Carlson's political and ideological positions could make him a divisive figure both within and outside the Republican Party. It will be interesting to see how this translates into his potential nomination. Moving on to the ability of Tucker Carlson to lead and govern as president, there are valid concerns because of his lack of political experience. Carlson has never held political office, and the presidency is not an entry-level position. It requires a tremendous amount of knowledge, experience, and discernment to make effective decisions that would impact millions of Americans and the world. That's a great point. At the same time, we've seen with previous presidents that having political experience doesn't necessarily equate to good governance. In fact, some might argue that a fresh perspective and outsider status could bring valuable insights to the presidency. While true, it's also essential that a person seeking to enter the presidency has some form of relevant experience, such as being a governor or senator. Running a government agency could also provide valuable insights into the responsibilities that come with being president. Yes, and we need to consider Carlson's track record when it comes to managing significant responsibilities. As we've discussed, he has certainly been influential in shaping the political narrative, but that doesn't necessarily translate into strong leadership skills. That being said, if he were to run for president, he would have to develop a coherent policy platform, something he has not explicitly done so far. All things considered, his lack of political experience will be something that voters and his critics will scrutinize. So, the jury is still out on whether Carlson's lack of political experience renders him unfit to be president or if it could be seen as an advantage. More crucially, would his supporters see this as a barrier or a positive attribute? The next aspect will address this question. Our final point is the potential impact of a Tucker Carlson presidential nomination on the Republican Party and the country as a whole. His nomination would undoubtedly trigger a reaction from both the Republican base and Democrats. His nomination could lead to a highly divisive and polarized presidential campaign, which could further fracture the nation. It's worth noting that some Republicans have already criticized Carlson's viability as a potential presidential candidate, citing that his extreme views could turn off moderate voters or even push him to vote for the opposition party. So his nomination could be risky for the Republican Party. On the other hand, as you mentioned, Carlson has a massive following and could energize the Republican base. 
his nomination could spark debates on critical issues that matter to them, such as immigration and gun control. Although, it is essential to consider that Carlson's views on some issues are not representative of the Republican Party as a whole. His nomination could be interpreted as taking the party to the extreme right of the political spectrum and could influence the future direction of the party moving forward. In conclusion, the Tucker Carlson presidential nomination would be a highly polarizing and divisive event and could have implications beyond the current political climate. Well, that's it for today's episode of Sundry Hypes. We hope you found this discussion insightful and informative. 